Right now, it is something else we're looking forward to, Pop News with Lara Spencer. Hey, Lara. Good morning, you guys. So much to get to, so let's just start with it now. The circle of life continues. This morning, Disney announcing a follow-up movie to last year's live-action version of The Lion King. This time with Oscar winner Barry Jenkins set to direct, the story will reportedly follow the rise of Simba's father, Mufasa. This will be Jenkins' second project with Disney. He's currently working on a biopic of dance legend Alvin Ailey. Also popping this morning, Jennifer Aniston admitting she almost quit acting a couple of years ago just before she was cast in The Morning Show. On the podcast Smart List, hosted by her friends Will Arnett, Jason Bateman, and Sean Hayes, Bateman asked, and Aniston had this surprising answer. I would have to say the last two years, that has crossed my mind, which it never did before. Really? Mm. Why is that? Because you feel satisfied? No. Or before you started The Morning Show, you mean? Before the morning show. It was after a job I had completed, and I was like, whoa, that was really, that sucked the life out of me. And I don't know um, if this is what interests me. Well, thankfully, Aniston did stick it out. Her role on the morning show earning her a SAG award this year. Aniston would not spill tea on which project she was talking about there that almost made her quit. Sticking with positive, she did, did tell the boys her two favorite roles of all time. No surprise, Rachel Green on Friends and her 2011 comedy, Just Go With It, co-starring Adam Sandler, which I need to watch again. Also this morning, we can finally announce to you the winner of People Magazine's World's Cutest Rescue Dog, and it wasn't you, Reva. Sorry. Thousands entered, all were worthy, only one can win, and the precious pup is Lamp Chop. Love this dog. 12 pounds of love. A Maltese rescued from a puppy mill where she was made to breed repeatedly. Lamb Chop is now thriving. She wins a supply of dog food and a thousand dollar donation to the animal rescue of her family's choice. Lamb Chop's mom telling Good Morning America, quote, it's an honor to share her story during Puppy Mill Awareness Month in hopes of making sure no other dog has to live a similar life. You can read more about Lamb Chop and the runners up in this week's issue of People Magazine. It was an honor being one of your judges. You'll get over it, honey. Finally, this morning, five parrots across the pond are in trouble for using foul language. Yes, I said it. These African gray parrots at the Lincolnshire Wildlife Park in the UK have ruffled more than a few feathers for swearing at visitors as they walk by their enclosure. According to the park director, these dirty birds flew off the handle in pandemic egging each other on by seemingly laughing as the others hurl curse words at passers-by. The director says, you name it, they can and have said it. Needless to say, these foul-mouthed friends have since been moved to a private enclosure. And on that note, I will send it back to you in the studio. Amy? <laughs> Thank you very much. They had to much. learn it from somebody yeah. or somewhere. Oh. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.